Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute little gift bag. I am using the supplies from the latest Papercraft Society kit, however you don't need to have those supplies to be able to make this gift bag. But I just wanted to share some inspiration for those of you that have it, and a cute gift bag idea as well. So this one measures, let me just, I always like to give the measurements because I've got quite a nice variety of sizes on my channel. So this one is five and a half, by two and three eighths of an inch by five and a half. So it's a great little size. You just undo the ribbon on the front and you can see there all your room that you've got. It's really cute. I've got this little gift tag here, which again you can make with the kit and underneath there even has the little stamp that says to and from, which I thought was sweet. And then this is using the toppers and this one says snowflakes are like friends each unique and each a gift to treasure. And yeah, that will be going to a friend. So that's what we're gonna to make today. Okay, so this is what you're gonna need. Now I'm gonna talk you through the measurements for those of you that don't have the die, but if you do have the die that comes with the kit, then you want to die cut, I'll just grab it here. You want to die cut two of the sides and two of the main bag. So that's the main bag one. So it's the same die that I used for the gift box last week. So you want to do two of those and you want to do two of your side piece, this one here. Okay, so I've gone for mirrored cardstock with this one because you have the mirror, sorry, I've gone for silver cardstock for this one because you have the silver foiling running through the collection. I thought it would tie it together quite nicely. And I'm going to construct this one ever so slightly, just one way different to the other one, just to give you again a little bit of um, inspiration. Just more ideas really on how you can put it together. So that's what you want to do there. And then the gift tag is this little one down here. And I've already gone ahead and done that. Okay. And then you've got lots of other little bits and pieces, but you'll see that again in due course in more tutorials. Okay, now if you don't have this die, then what you're going to need is two pieces. Let me grab my other scoreboard. But you're going to want two pieces that are five and a half by eight and by eight. Yeah, it's bang on eight. Okay, so two pieces. And along the eight inch side, you want to score at two and three eighths of an inch. Okay. And then for the side pieces, you want two pieces that are three and three eighths of an inch, by six and a half. Okay, along the six and a half side, you want to score at one inch, and that'll give you then your five and a half height, which is what we need there. And along the three and three eighths side, you want to score at half an inch, and then at two and seven eighths of an inch. Okay. I'm not going to talk through the middle score line. If you want to add that, you can. You just want to find the centre point of the this piece here, okay? Because you don't need need to have it. It's such a small little gift bag, but you can also just do it by hand as well. You don't even need to score. When you put it all together, just pinch it and it will fall into place. So I'm just going to burnish all of these. Now what I've done, because I'm working with a silver card, I thought about putting the tape on the outer side and sticking it inside like the other one. But then I thought, actually, no, I'm going to keep it as a feature. So I've actually put my tape on the inside and I have done this a few times on other gift bags and boxes. So when you go to put, usually when you put them together, you stick that tab inside like that, so you don't see it. But because this is silver, I think it'd look quite nice on the outside. So I'm actually gonna keep mine exposed for this one, okay? But again, entirely up to you. So I'm just gonna get rid of my scoreboard. And what you wanna do, first of all, is just fold and burnish those score lines on the main pieces and then I've already gone ahead and done those so take your backing off whether you put it underneath or on the top and you want to stick it so if you're going underneath now you're going to stick that over the top and line up the top and the bottom always I always say make sure your bottom score line lines up perfectly because you can always trim the top but I'm going this way so I'm going to again just check my score line is all lined up and just stick that one down there. So now I've got that effect. I quite like it. And then I'm going to grab the next piece. So again, if you're going under, then you'll stick that over the top, but I'm going to do it the other way. Okay, and then get the next one. I'm going to make sure I can get it right by that score line because it's hard to see it when you stick it from the outside. And then the last one, you can lie it all down flax, it will go, but I'm just going to bring mine up. To like so, again, just go in underneath there and just make sure it's all stuck down. So now you'll see I've got that effect. It looks quite cute. That's the way it would look if you fold it under. 
but if you're using something like a mirrored card I quite like having the you know having it on show that piece now may sit slightly different I might have to rework that or I do just no I'm going to keep mine I'll give you the measurements for this because I've done the measurements for it so that you had this border but obviously I've covered that so but it's fine I'm not too worried and then you want to stick down your base here so I'm going to because again I've got that mirrored card I'm just going to run a little bit of red tape on these two but you would just put liquid glue on your little tabs there and then decide which is the front or back I'm not too worried so I'm just going to lay that one down like so and then I'm going to grab my liquid glue because this is just normal cardstock and then stick that one down it should all sit nicely and you've got that really cute little gift bag it's a sweet little size it really is so then so if you want to have it if you've done it like mine and you just want to have this nice topper on the front then you'll want yours to be the silver is five and a quarter by four and three quarters and then the pattern paper on top is five by four and a half and on the pattern paper I put some foam underneath okay just to give it a bit of dimension now I've cut that to the same size and obviously now when I stick that on there but it's I think it still looks nice so I'm not gonna you know I'm certainly not going to change it now because it's just nice pattern paper and I probably won't be able to pull it off of that foam so I'm just going to pop some liquid glue on the back and then stick that over there just make sure you get your border nice on the top and bottom again if you're following mine exact like that and then I've got this one which has come from the kit so I've used the frame that was actually the frame on this so I've taken it off and then I've backed some of the paper from the pack so it's this paper the pink behind it and then this is one of the toppers this is a die this little bow die and you can see I've put it on the little tag there as well and I've put some foam on the back of this and then I think what I'm going to do is grab this is what your little crystal brads come in I'm going to grab one of the brads because I might do a gift tag for this one I'm not sure so well I, I probably will end up actually because someone needs to know obviously who it's for but um, let me just I'm going to cut I've been using these as decorations rather than actually how they're intended because I quite like them you know in the center of like the bow and, and things like that so I'm just going to bring in a hot glue and just stick that one in the center there just to add a little bit more sparkle you can see it looks really pretty and then because I've already cut that I will I'll do that at the very end let's just get the ribbon on this one I've used the white from the kit on this one but I think I'm going to use silver on this one just because I'll just tie it all together because the front of this one is obviously quite white with the pattern paper so I think the silver will look quite nice against this one so I'm just going to thread it through the back but if you haven't done those score lines if you just pinch it it will just naturally fold anyway so yeah you don't have to do them This was that lovely silver ribbon that I picked up from the charity shop. I shared it on one of my What Did I Get videos. And um, if I get this the right way, it's really nice. It's very thick. There we go. Look at that. Isn't it cute? So, so sweet. And then I need to just finish this tag. Okay, so I've just cut a piece of matching pattern paper, stuck it in the centre there of the tag, and I've die cut one of the little bows. I'm going to add one of the little brads in the middle, and then what I've done is I've cut a very small piece of ribbon, and I'm going to make a loop, but I'm going to glue it as it's, you know, once it's stuck through there. Can you see it's just looped right the way around, so there's no knot or nothing. I've just glued it together just so it's like a nice little dangle. So you want to, it's a little bit fiddly, but I do like the look, so I'm just going to thread it through that front little um, hole punch you know and then I'm going to pop 
on my hot glue gun. I'm going to pop a little bit of glue just on the top of that one there. And then you just want to fold it over the other side. Just let that grab. Don't have to do it as small as me if you'd rather have a longer dangle. Or put a little you know, piece of metal like chain on there like I've done before. But now, once it's set, there we go. So you can see now it's just this nice little loop and then the bit that you've glued, you can just kind of pull it through so it goes towards the back. So it's hidden inside the bag so you don't see the join. Although it's quite hard to see it on this metal look um, ribbon anyway. Okay, in fact I did do that much shorter than the other one but now you can at least you can still turn it over to see where it's from but it stays there I think it looks quite nice I've done it slightly bigger on that one you can see the loop a bit clearer so it's just cut another little brad and then I'm just going to pop that in the center and then see if I've got another little sentiment from the little toppers here so I've got a thank you no because it's do not open till Christmas I've got joy I could put joy on there you are wonderful. Yeah, maybe I'll put Joy because they're both Christmassy. And um, I'm just going to take off the little pips there. You can always use a little nail file as well just to get rid of them. Sometimes they're worse than others, but those ones are fine. And I think, yeah, let's pop the Joy there. Okay, go. So we've got Joy and then we've got that one there. Pop them all back in there. So it's the nice thing is it keeps everything together so you won't lose it. Okay, so there are my cute little gift bags. You could easily put handles on these as well. So, you know, you don't have to do them this way, but I, re I do really love the, the look that you get with the hinges on the outside. I do think it looks really nice. But if you don't, then that's how it will look without. Lovely big topper there. I do love that sentiment, I think it's really sweet. And um, yeah, really pleased with how they come together. So I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. I hope that you, yeah, you're able to do it, you know, like I said, even if you don't have the decorative piece there at the top, because you can always use a punch, you know, a, a edge punch or a die that you might have as well. So there's lots of ways around it. But um, thank you for watching as always. Please consider subscribing, hit the like button if you've enjoyed today, and I'll see you again soon for another tutorial. Bye.